Lock it down. down. One, two, three, go. Open up the pit. Let me teach you the trap routine. This is your challenge. Let me explain everything to you step by step. First, we have a look at the structure of this routine. We got four parts. Part one, the cue scratch. Part two, the pet play. Part three, mix in the loop. And part four, the cue scratch. Each part has eight bars. The routine starts with a short intro that has two bars. As a reference regarding the part number, there is an indicator on the upper left corner on the screen of the routine video. There is also a metronome that counts the bars. This will help you to understand the structure of the routine. Next, let's have a look at the audio file that we are using for this performance. I got the same song loaded on both sides, so you will only need one song for this routine. Let me show you each single cue point. On cue point one, we got the instrumental, and this will be running through the whole routine. One, two, three, go! On cue points number two, three, and four, we got the samples for the scratching parts, and they sound like this. Break it down, down, down. What you gonna do? do. Yeah. On cue points five, six, and seven, we got the melody samples for the pet play part. And on the last cue point number 8, we got the loop that we will mix on the instrumental in part 3 of the routine. Open up the pit, pit, pit. Put them off now, now. When you are scratching with your left hand, you will start the instrumental on the right side. I'm scratching with my right hand, so I will start the instrumental on the left side. The initial position looks like this. The song is loaded on both sides. I press cue point 1 on the left side and let the instrumental play. The intro of the instrumental will be playing for two bars. One, two, three. After the intro, you have to start with part one of the routine. And this is the scratching part. For the scratching part, we will use cue points number two, three and four. Scratch cue point number two for one bar, scratch cue point number three for one bar, then two for one bar again, and then four for one bar. Remember, four beats are one bar. Let me show you the first four bars of scratching a cappella. Cue point number two. Break it down. Cue point three. What you going do? Cue point two again. Break it down. And cue point four. <laughs> For the next four bars, you will repeat this again. You will scratch cue point number two for one bar, three for one bar, and then two for one bar. You will not play cue point number four for a second time. Pay attention, you will not scratch on bar number eight. That means you will not perform the last bar of scratching. The reason for this is that we need this little gap at the end to prepare for the upcoming part two, which is the pad play. And that's why we have to leave the last bar for the scratching part empty. At this point you will move the crossfader over to the left side. Let me show you the whole scratching part a cappella. Break it down. What you going do? Break it down. Break it down. What you going do? Break it down, down. And stop, move the fader to the left side. 
So the running order of the pads is like this. Two, three, two, four. Two, three, two, and end. The scratching technique that you are using for this part is completely up to you. Until now, you should be able to perform baby and forward scratches and you can also try the military combo. Just keep it clean and make sure that your timing is on point. Let me show you this scratching part with very simple baby cuts. So when you hear this vocal, the party won't stop, you have to move the crossfader to the left side. Because you need this moment to prepare for the next part on the right side. So part 1 will be running for 8 bars, but you will be only scratching for 7 bars. And on the 8th bar, you put the fader to the left side and prepare for the pad play part, which will be next. Let's have a look at part 2, and this is the pad play. We will play the melody with cue point number 5, 6 and 7. Let me show you the melody without the instrumental first. Break it down! What you gonna do? Let me show you the running order of the cue points very slow. And at the end of the bar, press cue point number two. Break it down! What you gonna do? Break it down! What you gonna do? Let's hear this part over the instrumental. The party won't stop. No one do it like me. Break it down. down. What you gonna do? Break it down. When you hear this vocal, one, two, three, go. This is the moment when you have to move the crossfader to the left side and prepare for the next part. Right after the pad play, we have to mix in the loop. And this will be part three, mixing in the loop. We will bring in the loop from cue point number eight. Open up the pit. So the pad play part will only be playing for seven bars. And on the last bar, there will be this vocal and then you have the time to prepare cue point number 8 and bring it in on the one of the next beat. Actually, the only thing that you need to do in part 3 is bring in the loop on the one of the instrumental. And this part sounds like this. One, two, three, go! Open up the pit, 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 pit. Put them off now, now, now. And bring the sample in again. You need to line up the beats in case your timing was not perfect. Therefore, you can nudge the side of the jog wheel, just like we learned in the beat match course earlier. The loop will be running for 4 bars and then you have to bring it in again and push cue point number 8 one more time. The total running time of part 3 will be 8 bars, that means 2 times 4 bars of the loop. When the loop is playing, you have a little extra time. It's up to you, just use this moment to get that little extra attention. 
you can use the filter effect like this and you can pump in the instrumental on the kick and the snare with the left line fader. Let's talk about the end of part 3 because the last bar is very important. The total part has 8 bars but the loop will only play for 7 bars and on the last bar we put the fader to the left side again. You will hear the vocal 1, 2, 3, 4 and at this moment we will start with part 4 and this will be the scratching part again. Now you can repeat what you did in part 1 or you can switch it up. At this point you can be creative. But always make sure to stay in the correct timing and keep the rhythm. I'm playing it like this. I'm scratching Q.4 for two bars and then I will play the pads for another two bars. A cappella it sounds like this. What you gonna do? Okay, so the order of the pads is like this. Scratch with cue point number 4 for 2 bars, then play around with 6 and 5 and end with number 2, then scratch cue point number 4 again for 2 bars, play around with 6 and 5 and then end on cue point number 3. And then the routine is finished. Let me show you this part a cappella again. <laughs> What you what you gonna do? Let's hear the last part number four over the instrumental. After 8 bars, this part will end and the routine is finished. That's it! You can watch the beginning of this video again to see the whole routine in total. I wish you good luck in learning this performance. We are looking forward to see your video recording.